can't believe you're not ready yet. My name is Sarah Ali. I'm an American Muslim living in a very small town. I was raised to be a confident and outspoken girl, upholding both my Muslim and American values. I love my country, and I never imagined that Islamophobia would ever hit home until... Hey, Sarah. The anti-Islamic organization is coming to Wickley. They're going to bring a lot of hatred to the Muslim community. We've got to do something fast. Muslim neighbors are a threat to us. You do realize that extremists exist in every race, nation, and religion, right? I mean, I don't freak out every time I see a white man just because of what Timothy McVeigh or David Koresh have done. I haven't stopped going to the movies or haven't stopped going to school just because of people like Adam Lanza. So it's really unfair to say that every Muslim man or woman is a threat to our society. Oh, Sarah, hey. But I also never imagined that I would fall in love with someone I'm not supposed to. And next, our soccer team seems to be doing great in the hands of our new gorgeous captain. Sarah, what was that? What? Do you really think I called him gorgeous on purpose? Sarah, everybody's talking about it. And so it all started. A new journey of my life. Hey, Sarah. So I was wondering if you could tutor me in chemistry? A journey I never anticipated. But what do we do when we discover ourselves enveloped within these emotions? I know you're falling in love with him. Seriously? Sarah, what the hell is your relationship with Jason? That it shakes the lifelong strong blood ties until it destroys the ties of kinship, tears a family apart. What do you suggest we should do? Lock her inside of her room. Don't let her go to school. Tears one's own community apart. There should be a class for girls who wear hijab and act religious, but they don't know the limits around guys. My heart is divided between love for my faith and love for Jason. What choice can I make? I don't know what you were doing, but whatever it was, I sincerely hope that you did not break the bond of trust that I so, so dearly shared with you. Is my commitment to my faith strong enough?